Hey everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com and I also invite you to follow us on Instagram, Facebook to see a little bit more about who we are and what we can do for you and our holistic beliefs in skincare. If you're just tuning in or if you're one of the many people that tune in but don't subscribe, please subscribe. Um, please take a minute, just hit that subscription and it costs you nothing, but it really helps me to get my videos shown. Um, I am an anomaly. I really try to teach beauty naturally, or you could look at it as me giving you a great foundation for anything else that you do choose to do to your skin. A lot of you have asked me about do it yourself at home uh, masks and things. And I want to be really clear. I'm not a super do DIY person per se. I don't think you should be watching some of these uh, TikToks and Instagrams and YouTubes or what your friends say are working um, and doing them to your skin if you really don't have the proper guidance. But I can tell you these couple things really do make a difference and really can be of value to you and they're not gonna burn your face or hurt your face. Now, if you have active acne, be mindful. Um, it can sting it a little bit, but I always find that that heals it and cleans it out and dries it. If you're um, of a certain age and you're trying to get rid of wrinkles or what have you, you may peel a little bit. And in fact, I'm going through a little bit of peeling because I did a video on microdermabrasion about four days ago. And so my skin, um, it'll have darker variations and that's normal. Also, if you're new to my channel, I wear no foundation or concealer. So I really try to keep things real for you so you can see what true skin is. Um, Wabi Sabi, embrace the imperfections in life, in yourself and in aging or whatever is going on with you and your body. Uh, so the two masks I'm going to do today, um, I'll start with a turmeric and aspirin mask, or maybe I should do Maybe I'll do the aspirin and honey first because turmeric can be a real mess. Um, I wanna just show you how to wash your face first because anything you do to your skin isn't going to matter if you don't wash your face properly. What you wash with absolutely matters. And even though I don't wear any makeup and I don't even have sunscreen on right now, I'm still going to wash my face because we have natural sebum on our skin. Sebum is dirt, oil, dead, dry skin, old skin cells, and it's constantly coming up. Your skin has many different jobs. It protects the muscles and the bone. It helps with the um, temperature of the body and it filters out the system. All the impurities come out through the skin. I like you to exfoliate first. You want a gentle exfoliant. Uh, this is our uh, Flawless Exfoliator, Blueberries Coffee, um, and it's very gentle. It not only exfoliates, but it's really hydrating as well. But if you've never exfoliated before, your skin's gonna be like, whoa, because you may have a real callus layer, and a lot of the junk might come out as you're exfoliating. I always say it's like taking off layers of saran wrap. The first layer might have a lot of uh, breakout and blackheads and things, and you have have to have those taken out. Those have to physically be removed. But then the next layer might be okay. But then layer number five might have um, fungus or something on it that looks like an eczema or something like that. So you really need to understand that when you start exfoliating, you are bringing things out and that is okay. Now, get really close to your hairline because when I mask, I like to get very, very close to my hairline. I like to get very close to my eyes. I'm not going to wash my eyes or I won't be able to see you. I always always do my neck and chest and I always let it sit for just a couple minutes so that any actives in the products can do their job. Uh, pomegranate, antioxidant, blueberries, antioxidant, caffeine, antioxidant. Um, and when I say antioxidant, antioxidants are everything and then they help to fight free radicals. They feed your skin, they get blood flowing, they anti-age your skin, they heal your skin, they keep it from uh, breaking out. So those are very important. Now, I don't wear any foundation or concealer, but after masking, if you're one of my ladies who loves to wear foundation and concealer, I hope I can get you to stop. Uh, just please let your skin breathe for at least 24 hours. So if you do this during the day, don't put anything on it. Um, you can put your zinc 
oxide sunscreen on it, but I really don't want anything else on it. You could even put a titanium dioxide sunscreen on it, but again, I really want you to let your skin breathe. Um, when we put foundations or chemicals on our skin, uh, chemical sunscreens, um, concealers, uh, tinted moisturizers, all they do is just really wreak havoc on your skin and they are things your skin doesn't like. It's like when I have a milk product and I can't, I'm lactose intolerant, I don't feel good, my stomach hurts. Uh, many of you have issues with maybe nuts or vegetables or fruits. Um, that is the same with your skin. It's just not good for your skin. So hopefully I got my exfoli exfoliator off. If I didn't, maybe you see a coffee somewhere. And now I'm going to wash my face. Now we call our cleanser face food. It's our classic cleanser, grapefruit acid, papaya, sugar cane, wonderful, antioxidants again, which just is a umbrella for wonderful, wonderful ingredients. And what you wash with matters. If I hear one more person who has no knowledge of skin tell you that your cleanser, eh, you put it on it, you wash it off, it doesn't matter. It does matter. This is when you want to massage it in. Get that blood flowing. Let those antioxidants do their job. Get way back by your ears and give it time to do what it needs to do. Now, if you can't afford a special little tool, your fingertips are great. I always say God's natural washcloths. You can use a washcloth. I happen to use my Foreo. I've had this for, oh gosh, a few years now. I love it. You don't use a hard hand. You just really work around everywhere. I love that not only does it clean my skin, but it really gets the blood flowing. It used to be that Clairsonics were the things that we used and we really loved, but then about seven years ago, give or take, Clairsonic got bought by L'Oreal and funny because L'Oreal is such a big company, L'Oreal is Lancome, the product just wasn't as good. And we also found that those brushes, you know, taking them off and reusing them, even if you clean them, it just wasn't as great as the vibration technology in layman's terms that we use with our toothbrushes and things. And I like to get right in there. You can go over your lips. Um, if I miss somewhere on camera, just know that you wanna get really close to your ears, really just take the time to let your cleanser do its job. Um, also, don't ever use a spinning brush on your face. A spinning brush can cause superficial tears in your skin, just like a really chunky exfoliator could. Um, I'm not a walnut scrub person. Uh, I like things to be in a perfectly sphere uh, product if it can be. And you just know that when it's rolling over your face. Now you wanna go ahead and rinse that off and Obviously, you would be at a basin or you would be in the shower being able to rinse it. You know, try not to let the water run. Let's help the earth and protect the earth. But just, you know, give it a couple splashes. Get things off. Anything that is a good, not good, an excellent product will be water soluble. So the enzymes will take away an injertin oil, clean your skin, and then be able to be rinsed off gently. Um, also, you want a product that is very concentrated where you only need a tiny bit and it does amazing things. Now, we have washed our face. I'm gonna put this bowl aside and I'm going to show you how I do my Manuka an aspirin mask. Now I might put my ACV on, always dilute your apple cider vinegar if you need to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, I don't agree with other people that say apple cider vinegar is not great. I think it's fantastic. It is a natural antibacterial, antifungal. I drink it and I put it on my skin. We also have it in a toner that's a little gentle, but you can put your apple cider vinegar on now if you would like to. So you will take, uh, I just have these aspirin that I bought from, oh gosh, I can't remember if we got them at Costco. I think I did get them at Costco. And they're just very crushable. Now, I think someone asked me if they shouldn't have coating on them. And I'm trying to remember if these are, can you read this, Kent? I'm not sure if it's, oh wait, coated. So these are coated and I still use them. They're still easy. Now you wanna count out six. Okay, and I just like to do six. I like to do things in threes. I'm really weird about that. Everything in threes. 
And I use this little pestule. Am I saying it right, Kent? Pestule? And it's just a little thing like this that you can get um, at Home Goods or anywhere. I love this. I've had this for years. People use it for spices. And you get the aspirin. Can you see? They're right in there. All right. And you're going to take the pestle and you're just going to crush them. Now, if you don't have something like this, I'm pretty sure you could use a spoon. But you do want to get it really, really fine. Now, let me just show you. So you really want to get it nice and fine. Let me make sure it's nice and fine. Okay. And I don't want that to fall on the ground. I'm going to put that over there. So as you can see, it's really nice and fine in there. Now take a glass dish. I just prefer glass over plastic if possible. Uh, I think glass is cleaner. I worry about things being, um, if there was a chemical reaction, natural or not natural, in plastic. So you'll want to take all of that aspirin, and I try to get every little bit of it if I can. Uh, let's see. Okay. And you will just put them in that bowl, just like so. So you just crushed them, and now they're in the bowl. Now I'm going to take some Manuka honey. And Manuka honey needs to be from New Zealand. Uh, Manuka honey is anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. Uh, this one is a new one. I'm gonna use a special spoon for it. Uh, Manuka honey um, has amino acids in it. You're gonna see me reading because I have so much in my head right now. Vitamins, minerals, it balances your pH, sloughs off skin. I said anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. It heals acne. I've seen it heal acne. It does. Burns, sunburns. It is incredibly healing. So it has MG in it, which is methylglyoxal. I'm not even saying it right. Methyl gly oxal and uh, essentially it's an almost like a an natural antibiotic antibacterial so it's really incredible for the skin it's incredible for inside too it is expensive but i will tell you one container um, and i've gone to a couple different companies really does last me a long time you use a separate spoon take maybe i would say that much out Okay, so I don't know if that's about a teaspoon. I think I've actually said to some people a tablespoon, but maybe you don't. Yeah, I guess a tablespoon. And you're just going to, now my hands are clean. I'm just going to push it into the aspirin. And you're just going to stir it around like so. Just like so. And you want it, I guess it almost looks like uh, the consistency of a golden, oh gosh, if you can see that, just kind of golden, if you will, all right? And then what I like to do is take the back of the spoon and put it on my face. So I'm one of those people, and I actually do this washing too, I don't on camera, but I kind of start in one area to make sure I'm getting everywhere, and I just put it all around like so. And you can go right over your eyelids if you'd like to. You can get right into the corners of the nose and the eye and go all the way back to your ears. Just like so. Uh, will you feel any tingling? Mm, not really. Um, it just it, it actually just feels really hydrating. Always try to work up if you can. Okay, so Manuka honey. We know the benefits of Manuka honey. Aspirin is a form of a salicylic acid. And salicylic acid uh, is very healing. It tightens the skin. It helps with wrinkles. It smooths fine lines. It helps with acne. Um, some might almost consider it a natural peel, and I do get it right on your nose. Did you see how I did that? I do consider it a natural peel. It is really quite amazing how, if you can't go all the way up, just kind of work down a little bit, try not to. You will be amazed at what the Manuka honey and the aspirin will do together. Antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, healing, and this is a mask you can use at home. now. Would I use it tomorrow? You could certainly put it in the refrigerator for one night. I wouldn't go longer than that. I'm very much about fresh. And you can certainly use it again. Now, if you can get down to your chest, 
Um, for time's sake, I'll just kind of get that around like so. You can go over your lips if you have an acneic. Um, I didn't have my cotton mask with me the other day and I had to wear one of those blue ones. Oh my gosh, I broke out right on the side of my mouth. So really get it on there. Get back by your ears, get around your ears if you can. Now, you'll wanna leave this on at least 20 minutes. Um, just because you do something longer doesn't always mean it's the best, but you wanna give it time to do its job. So you wanna leave it on for 20 minutes, you wanna let it do its job, and you wanna help it to slough off the skin, to heal the skin. You will be amazed what this mask will do. Whether you're 15 years old and you're struggling with active acne, redness and irritation, or you're 80 years old and you just wanna soften your skin and any of the wrinkles. You've heard me say it before, when you have a blemish, it can leave a mark. If you're fair skinned, it can be more red or purple. If you're darker skinned, it can be more dark. But don't think it can't go away. It absolutely can, and this mask will help it. So uh, when you have a wrinkle, many times a wrinkle looks a lot deeper because the skin inside has either been sunburned and tanned or it's very dry. And when your skin is dry, it can, under a microscope, look very flaky, very brown. In fact, when I feel like my lines look like they're just too much, I know I'm dehydrated and I drink a ton of water or I do whatever I need to hydrate my face. So going to that, I wanted to show you these two products. Now these are not masks, but they are by Evolution Fresh and they are cold press juices. And if you saw my video just a few videos ago about eating for anti-aging and health of your skin, watermelon has so much to hydrate your skin. And these are great ways to get it, even if you only drink half of it. Uh, this one has, it's just watermelon. This one, and I forgot my glasses. This one has carrots, pineapple, orange, lemon, and ginger. All are vitamin C's, anti-inflammatory, antioxidants. And I really absolutely believe that what you put in is going to come out and what you put on your skin matters. So I want to read this one more time. Uh, Manuka honey has uh, methylglyoxal, which is an anti, um, an antibi a form of antibiotic. It has amino acids, vitamins, minerals, balances your pH, sloughs the skin, anti-inflammatory. Uh, Manuka honey is amazing. It just is amazing, but it's got to be Manuka honey. Aspirin is a form of salicylic acid. It's actually acet acetyl salicylic acid, which is a form of salicylic acid. Tightens the skin, firms the skin, soothes the redness. Um, in fact, uh, many times when you think that you're having a fungal uh, irritation or a psoriasis or ex eczema or a, or a um, uh, psoriasis, eczema, or rosacea, the three, the three guys, um, many times it's just fungal and I'll have someone go home, put this on, and it's amazing how much calmer their skin is and how much it sloughs it off. Think of it as layman's terms, the problem is rooted in the surface of your skin. So an acne, it's like a little river that goes deep into your skin and you wanna really clean that out or like a cup. Same with any funguses. that might be on the surface and it may go through just a little bit. So you wanna get down to where it's active and slough that away so that new tissue can form and you can have beautiful skin. Okay, I'm gonna go on to the next mask. I'm gonna rinse this one off. Um, we're gonna pause the video here and then we will continue. Okay, I'm back. So I took off the Manuka honey and aspirin mask. I'm probably a mess. There's probably a gray hair going around somewhere. Who knows? Um, and now we're gonna do the next mask. But before I do it, and you do not do this with the mask, I just wanna be sure to show you this. Um, this is castor oil. I love castor oil. Castor oil comes from the castor seed that is typically grown in Africa, South America, India, and essentially it is a humectant. So it draws moisture from the air, it gets it into your skin, it's anti-inflammatory, it is anti-aging, it helps with wrinkles, it heals the skin. And I will tell you that I put on my eye cream, which we consider more of a treatment, and then I will take my castor oil and I will put it right under my eye, especially at night. I don't really do it during the day, really only at night. And it has really kept my under eyes looking great. They're not waking up all puffy unless I have allergies or if I've been rubbing them like right now, washing my face, I may be a little red or puffy, 
but I absolutely want to use this as a, I, I consider this under the heading of a do it yourself. It is fantastic. I love castor oil. I buy 100% uh, organic from Kate Blanc. It's a skincare. Um, I do buy it off of Amazon. I've never had an issue and I love it. So just know that castor oil is a fatty acid. Uh, it's a wonderful choice to help you with anything going on under your eyes, any irritations that you might be having. Um, but you don't have to put it on with your mask. I just wanted to use it as a DIY. And once I get this other mask on, I won't really be able to show you. So I will show you how I do it though. I just take a little bit. I never touch the dropper. Always try to be careful of touching the dropper. Okay. And I'll just go like so. And I'll even put it over the top of my eyes. You all know I love to use it for my eyelashes. Um, sometimes you can just rub it all over, but it really has made a significant difference because I've been probably a little bit more uh, regimed about it in the past, I'd say year and a half. Okay, so you do not have to put that on before a mask. I just want to make sure to show you before I get the mask on. Now you could wipe it off or whatever if you did. All right, so turmeric and honey. I use uh, turmeric. You wanna be very careful that you are buying pure turmeric. Everything should have this organic, organic seal on it or USDA organic. Used to be, that only one in 10 ingredients had to be organic to have an organic seal, but they have gotten very strict or much more strict. They're getting better. They're not getting great, but they're getting better. Uh, you wanna take the turmeric. I eat turmeric every day on my oatmeal. I don't taste it, I love it. But you wanna take maybe, you don't need a lot. It goes a long way and it will stain everything. So I was actually gonna bring out, oh, I did bring out an old towel. Put an old towel on. Don't go sit on your couch. Stay over the kitchen sink. Don't go lay on your bed. You will get turmeric everywhere. And I actually use old towels to rinse it off. It can be, it's that staining. So, but it's amazing. So what does turmeric do? Turmeric is also an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. It helps with acne. It helps with discoloration on the face. It helps with puffiness. Uh, turmeric is also known to help with the three things that I think are the most overly diagnosed diseases, eczema, psoriasis and rosacea. Many times those are just really active fungal. Um, if you have those and you're under a doctor's care, I understand, but you can try these natural alternatives. Um, they have worked on my clients for years and it, just getting rid of that old tissue makes such a difference. Okay, so you take a little bit of turmeric, Again, I like to use little glass bowls, not plastic in case there's anything in them. And you'll just put the turmeric in the bowl just like so. Okay, you can see it in there. And again, we're gonna take our uh, Manuka honey and we're gonna use a nice clean spoon for it. And we're gonna use maybe, I guess about that much. You'll learn your face shape. You'll learn how much you like to put on. More is not necessarily better. Remember, these are very pure ingredients. Uh, and you're just going to stir that Manuka honey around. Now, would I do an aspirin mask and a Manuka honey mask in the same day? I would not. Don't overdo it. I'm doing this for all of you so that you can see how it works. Now I need a little bit more Manuka honey. So we're going to use the end of, we're gonna get creative here. We just don't want to touch it with anything dirty, honestly. But this is my honey. I'm the only one who uses it. Um, but really, you should be clean. There's no excuses. Be very clean when you touch your skincare. I typically tell people in the same family not to really share skincare. We all have different bacteria and fungus. Um, obviously, Kent and I can share. Your husband and you can share. Sometimes your kids. I always made sure my children had their own skincare clean the tops of them. Um, if you come into any of my salons, every single time a client has been in the room, we wipe everything down, especially with COVID, but we always did this. You don't want anything around the edges. You want things very clean because that's going on your skin. Okay, so this is what Manuka honey and turmeric look like. You can see where that would be really staining. Again, I use the back of the spoon. I don't know that I mixed enough up. And again, I like to start in certain areas. I always start on my forehead. Um, I'm wondering if you can see anything from the aspirin. I can. Um, I did microdermabrasion the other day 
and I can definitely see some dark that's coming up. That's very normal and also some dryness because it's been kind of dry here in California. And so you can almost see some brown coming up and that's normal, but I can tell you it feels so much softer and lighter already. You can tell the old skin cells came off. Now, what will the turmeric do for me? Uh, again, healing, anti-inflammatory, but it also does help to really lighten any brown spots, any age spots. You can do this on your hands, uh, acne spots, scars. Um, scars can always be softened. In layman's terms or in holistic terms, if you've had a burn, if you've had a really bad cut or a scar from surgery, you've got about 12 to 14 months to really work on that scar. Um, and if you don't believe me, I've worked on hundreds of thousands of clients and I've seen it happen. You want to smooth out a scar, really work it, massage it, put different things on it to help it to heal so it's soft and it doesn't keloid. Okay, so this is what turmeric looks like. It's very yellow. Now I have heard stories where someone's skin stained a little bit, but then they just exfoliated and it all came off. It's not something that's going to stain you uh, really deep into your skin. I think people were taking colloidal silver at one point and it was turning their faces purple. I feel so sad. I shouldn't laugh. That's horrible. Um, I would be terrified. It's not going to do anything like that. And both masks, you can get right up to your eyes, right on the sides of your eyes. Um, I'm going to just do my face, but whenever you mask, make sure to do your neck, do your chest. Uh, if you're a client of ours, we tell you to do your neck, do your chest, do your back. Uh, everything is interconnected. If you are breaking out on your face and you are breaking out on your back, there is a reason. It is interconnected. Go ahead and get down to your neck. I don't know if many of you noticed, my neck looks so much better. Um, it was just feeling a little lined and just like so. So I just want to show you how it looks. You can get a lot closer to the eyes. You want to leave this on about 20 minutes at the minimal. You can go longer if you'd like to. If you take it off and your skin feels a little orange, just while you're washing it, really get your washcloth in there. Maybe exfoliate your skin. Uh, when you're done masking, you can do your actives. Uh, you can re-wash your face. It's not gonna take anything away because these things did what they needed to do. They changed the surface. They absorbed into the skin um, as far as they could. Rewash your face. Uh, put on your vitamin C's. Put on your retinols. Uh, put on your luminous if you're a peach. A coenzyme Q10. Moisturize your skin. And then go ahead and do your microcurrent. Do your jade rollers. Do your gua sha's. And just relax relax for the evening. If you're in the bath, I think masks are great in the bath, but a lot of times the steam from the water can deactivate them a tiny bit. Just be aware of that. We want these to dry. Um, and again, don't put foundation or concealer on after this. Give your skin a break. I hope you enjoyed these three little tips for at home. Uh, aspirin and Manuka honey mask, turmeric and Manuka honey mask, and castor oil. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you comment with love and kindness below, and I hope you stay beautiful naturally.